Hey guys, welcome back. Ace Cafe Bikes. This morning, no one else is up yet, so I thought I'd sneak out here and take a little crack at the uh, middle section of the bike. I think today what we're going to do is um, clear out the guts of this, get the battery out, get the airbox out, get the electrics out, kind of see what this opening is going to look like. We're also going to take a look at getting the handlebars off, getting the triple tree loosened up so we can slide these forks up. I want the top clamp to be about two, three inches lower on this. See what kind of stance that makes. It's such a big travel, I think, because this was a cruiser style with that front fairing on it that it just gave it so much more length, which kind of gives the bike this appearance where it's up like this. I just kind of want to level that off just a little bit. I also got a, a trick that I learned watching some YouTube videos of a guy who had a GL, which re he did the rear end a little bit. I think I'm going to do that a similar fashion with that. We'll, we'll get to that in future episodes. But when we get brave enough to cut this off, which obviously got to happen, so we will get to that. I also want to address my new little scooter. Uh, I got something a little extra for Christmas. I don't have to sit in a bucket anymore, so this is pretty nice. Can like this, I don't have to stress the knees as much. This is going to be great. Now that we're on this side, I think also one of the in the very near future, we're going to take the, the headers off, get this H box off, um, see what we can start doing with the exhaust. But yeah, lots going on, a lot more things to remove before we can start making some permanent changes. So, right. Let's get to it. Well, that took some doing. That's ridiculous how they had this water bottle connected on there. On there, the back way. So if this is in there like that. This nut comes from this way instead of this way. Whew, that was quite a challenge, but um, anyway, that's gone. Airbox is gone. I can see this beast of a shock now all this going on yeah so i think that's looking good um next thing i'm going to do probably off camera is going to take this off 
get this all completely exposed. And um, we're gonna go from there. All right, let's move up to the front. Pretty good place to stop for today. We've really had some decent uh, work getting some of this stuff off the bike. As you can see, the front end looks completely different now. I always love when you get the handlebars off, how much difference that makes with the handlebars. Handlebars look like this versus nothing. And what we're going to put back there is just going to be more of a, a tracker style, kind of straight, maybe a little bit of a blip up. That's going to look great. Now uh, we have the tank off, obviously, so we can. Um, See what's going on in here. Trying to find where that um, antifreeze is leaking. And I think I might have figured out on the other side, there's a, a port like this where it leaks more on the other side than it does on this side. So I think it might just be that. Not what I was originally thinking, which is back here where the actual pump and the impeller is. So this is like a, a flow here. There's nothing, nothing leaking on this side. It's all on that side. And I think it's coming from right here. So I'm gonna do some research on that and hopefully it's just a seal. Just have to take that off, put a new seal there. Hopefully that'll be fixed. This water bottle, what a pain in the butt that is where this is positioned. It is loose now because it was being mounted from the reverse on the battery box, which is a pain to get off. We've got that. I've got the exhaust studs being soaked in some WD-40. Um, get this off so we can get this out. will be in our next episode, or, or maybe I'll just do that. Um, that's pretty straightforward. I've already got it, all the bolts off it. It doesn't move. It's still pretty fixed into the front. So, at any rate, we got those lubed up. We've got all of this out, which is looks really, really well, and eventually. This will get chopped off. So yeah, I think um, we're in a really good spot for what's going to happen next. I have ordered some stuff that just hasn't come yet. Um, we got the bars, we got some levers, we got some switches. Um, I don't know if you, caught, if you saw when I was taking that 
handlebars off the switch for the start and was broken, so that kind of sucks. And the throttle assembly, so we can't use that anyway. It's this right here, so that's yeah, just broken, right? I don't know. The old guy who had this before me must have tried gluing that back together after he screwed it together. So that's that's out of commission. Um, I do like I like how this old shock is. I know some people replace that shock for a more exposed spring. I think we're just going to take that out and paint it. And um, yeah, this is going to be pretty quick, I think, guys. A nice little budget build again. We don't have too much money invested in the bike or in the stuff that I'm going to be putting into it. Like I said in the last episode that we kicked us off with, this bike does run really, really well. And we just need to do some maintenance. And obviously, we're changing appearance quite a bit. So anyway. Stay tuned for next time, guys. Hopefully stick with me. If you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. Leave me a comment. Leave me a like. You know the routine. But until next time, take you later.